Tiffany with historicindianapolis.com and we are here with Carl Michalis at Christ Church Cathedral on the Circle, one of the best spaces in Indianapolis. So I just want to ask you a few questions sure. about, about this beautiful cathedral. Um, give us a little of the background. Uh, well, Christ Church was, this building was built in 1859. Uh, a wooden building was here before from 1837, so the parish dates from 1837. Uh, there was a major renovation in 1900 when the stained glass windows went in, among other things. Uh, in 1954, there was another major renovation, and that's when we became a cathedral uh, for the Episcopal Diocese. And we've had, uh, we have a lot of renovations. We did a major renovation in 1928. Under our feet is when we took up the floor and dug the basement uh, with mules and men and built a foundation as they went. Uh, and then about 1984, we took up the front lawn and dug a second basement for an education wing. These organs that you can see behind us and, and over there, uh, there was a major organ renovation in 1900 and we stripped the building out at that time, took the plaster down, the lights out, everything was cleaned up. Uh, we found horse hair in the ceiling, for instance. Uh, it was a primitive form of insulation. So what makes it a cathedral? This is the mother church of the Diocese of Indianapolis, and up at the altar is uh, the bishop's throne or cathedra, and that chair is what actually is the symbol of this being a cathedral. That's the, the, the sign of the bishop's authority, and that's where she sits when she's visiting. I never knew that. Yeah. That's really fascinating. The Here. baptismal font, uh, the, uh, the, the end of the, the, the rack where the, the lid slides to open up the baptismal font, there are two little frogs and uh, they're there. We always point those out to children especially. The frog and the tadpole are symbols of the resurrection in the same way that the butterfly is because of the metamorphosis, the change. Can you tell me some of the history of the bell tower? How often do you use the bells? What are the occasions, etc.? Uh, we have nine bells in the tower. The oldest uh, is from about 1860, right after this building was built, and it tolled for Lincoln's body when, wow. it, when it came through Indiana. Uh, the other bells were accumulated in, I think, a 10-year period. Um, in the 1890s, a young man was paid to be the chimer, and he lived in the bell tower wow. without heat or water. Okay, you ready? Yeah, right. What about, um, what would you say uh, for a visitor who's coming to town or those Indianapolis residents who have not yet been in the space, because I know that happens too, mm -hmm. what would be you know, a few key points that you would direct them to? Well, I would direct them first to our website, uh, cccindy.org, because a lot of information is there, especially about concerts. Uh, there are organ recitals all the time here. We're one of the few churches that's open every day. So you can just come in and look around, which is a wonderful experience. We, ask, we love for people to come in and say a prayer. Uh, we have a noon service every day. Really and morning and evening prayer as well. Uh, it's at 8.30 and 5.15. Okay, well, I have been just so intrigued, charmed, delighted. I really thank you and Christchurch Cathedral for letting us come in and see this beautiful space. I'm really at the bell tower, very exciting. Just such, so much to see here. So I really encourage people to come, um, since they said it is open seven days a week, to come down to Christchurch Cathedral on the Circle. Thank you so much. Well, we're very happy to have you. Thank, Thank you. you.